Quebec's wildlife is not shy. You just have to know what you're looking for. You need to be patient and lucky. I've really enjoyed seeing moose. I keep seeing moose everywhere I go. I saw this one first, and then the very next day I saw this mama moose just outside my window. And suddenly I saw that she had a baby. Actually, she had two babies. And if you don't think you have the patience to wait for a moose in the wild, you can always put out a big hunk of salt. Moose love salt licks. It's something that their body needs, especially in summer, and it's so much fun to watch them licking it like a popsicle. But my most unforgettable moose was this 12-week-old baby moose that I got to feed a bottle to. It's just an orphan, unfortunately, but it's being very well taken care of on a farm and I got to feed a bottle to it. It was such a powerful animal for someone so small and so young just fought to get at that milk and just guzzled it down in seconds. I think moose get overlooked a lot and uh, we don't see them as that exciting, but they're so much fun, especially when they're young and out in the wild, they grow up to be very majestic animals. This is probably one of the coolest things I've ever got to do with my job. I was also lucky enough to see an arctic wolf. This is another wild animal that has been rescued and you have to be very careful around wolves. I let it smell me and get used to me before I approached it. And even then I still kept a distance, but they are such beautiful creatures. I didn't think my wildlife encounters could get any better, but they did because I was able to get very close and personal with this gray wolf, Canis lupus. He's just a cub under three years old, which is why it's okay for me to be in the pen with him. Uh, and he's been very well trained. I love this animal and he loved me back, licked my chin, smelled me, and just wouldn't let go of me. I thought he was amazing. You know how much I love dogs? Well, I love wolves too. They are such incredible creatures.